السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی حبیب اللہ فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس فارن منسٹر سیز پاکستان اینڈ سری لنکا انجوائے آئیڈینٹیکل ویوز آن ریجنل اینڈ انٹرنیشنل ایشوز اسپیشل اسسٹنٹ آن انفارمیشن سیز سیکنڈ فیز آف پاکستان چائنا فری ٹریڈ ایگریمنٹ will facilitate Pakistani traders to export their products to the Chinese market with zero duty. In occupied Kashmir, 38 Kashmiris have been martyred during the ongoing four-month siege and lockdown by Indian troops. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi held a meeting with Sri Lankan counterpart Dinesh Gunawardhana in Colombo today and discussed bilateral relations and matters of mutual interest. The Foreign Minister on the occasion said that both countries have supported each other on regional and international matters. He also highlighted the dire situation in occupied Kashmir and said that India is continuously committing human rights violation for seven decades. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Pakistan has started economic diplomacy. He invited his Sri Lankan counterpart to visit Pakistan with a delegation of Sri Lankan business community to boost up current volume of bilateral trade. Both leaders agreed to continue consultation for regional peace and stability. Later talking to the media, the foreign minister said the two sides exchanged views to strengthen the existing relations between the two countries. He said the both countries agreed to enhance the scope of bilateral trade as both countries have immense opportunities to promote trade. He said the two countries are also supporting each other to establish peace and stability in the region. Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Firdos Ashik Awan, has said the implementation of second phase of Pakistan-China free trade agreement reflects the overlasting relationship between the two countries. In a series of tweets today, she said this arrangement will facilitate Pakistani traders to export their products to the Chinese market on zero duty. The special assistant noted that the country's textile sector will benefit the most under this agreement. In addition, those producing agriculture and leather products, as well as confectionery items and biscuits, will also take full advantage from it. For those Ashikawan said, under these FTA, Pakistani traders will get the opportunity to export. 313 new products to the Chinese market. In the first phase of FTA, Pakistan was benefiting from zero-rated facility on 742 products. And that is the end of news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official